just tired all the time, mentally, physically. It's like I'm dragging everything behind me. And the citalopram? Doesn't do anything. Makes me groggy, if anything. All right. Maybe we need to get you a higher dosage. Maybe we need to look at other options rather than trying to fill me with pills like some lab rat. You're dealing with extreme grief. That's not something that's going to go away quickly. Have you tried the meditation I recommended? Yes, I made my head spin. How can anyone clear their minds anyway? It's all a load of rubbish. Again, it's not something that's going to work overnight. Have you ever lost anyone? Have you ever felt like your chest is going to explode because of how much you miss them? No. Maybe you shouldn't be telling people how to deal with their grief. You were referred to me. Yeah. Well, maybe I need someone that just listens, rather than trying to fix everything. Danny, I'm in position. Danny, come in. John, you all right? Why are you calling me? Well, if you had your earpiece in, you'd know that I was in position. Switch to your earpiece now. All right, keep your wig on. <sighs> Disabling the system. No. <laughs> uh, nothing happened. What do you mean? I mean nothing happened, the lights are still on. Oh, for God's sake. John? Yeah? Have a little look at the house number for me. Um, at number 43. You're supposed to be on 34. And by the looks of things, you're on the wrong street too. So, I'd run if I were you. You know, staying at Tim's, did you? Well, his parents were in, so we just watched a film. Oh. I just thought you would ask. You know. You did? Well, I didn't finish, but he did. And? It was hard. Ooh, naughty. Oh, I can't believe you just said that. It's really not a big deal. Yeah, it is. It didn't taste as good as what I thought it was going to, so definitely wasn't worth breaking my diet for. Oh. Uh, what? I think the icing was a bit off, but the sponge was good. Oh, cake. The sex was good, though. 